Welcome back to the channel. This isn't another S2000 video. This is actually the start of the mini series. Just wanted to do like a pre intro before the actual intro on the video. So, the reason why there isn't like a standalone intro for the mini, because everything I filmed for it, I wasn't happy. I have a very specific vision for it that once we do all the JCW cosmetics, we'll do a cinematic reveal that way. So, sit back, enjoy the first episode of the mini series. Also, never sit on aluminum hoods. The fuck's wrong with me? So on today's episode, we're gonna be doing the noisemaker delete with the silicone hose here. I've already done a couple things to the Mini because I'm impatient and I had them sitting long before we intro the car. So far we have the forged blow off valve adapter so it makes the blow off valve sound now. It was a must have even though it's really novelty. But I needed it anyways. We also have the M7 turbo muffler delete already installed. I'll show those in a little bit. But for right now, we're gonna get to taking apart the intake so we can do the noise maker delete and get rid of all the extras that come with it. I'm gonna start off today's with taking off the uh, intake manifold and then getting that out of the way. That way we can reach the noise maker hose back here and pull it all off. Let's get some torque bits. <clears throat> Take off the turbo all together. Probably gonna get that one too, the silicone hose, the blow off valve adapter down there, as well as the uh, M7 turbo muffler delete hot side uh, charge pipe. Noisemaker has been deleted already. Out of all the things to do, because this car, other than this now that we find out, was 100% stock until we did the uh, charge pipe over there and the blow -off valve adapter blow -off valve adapter well i guess we're just gonna replace that hose with another silicone hose anyways since we have it and see if we notice any gains on the butt dyno let's get into it got the intake out of the way as you can see the noise maker which is usually here and snaps into here is simply not there so we just got one more bolt to undo to replace the uh, the charge pipe for the throttle body, and we're good to go.
All right, so we finally got the old pieces out. Man, were these clips a major pain in the ass. You just did not want to let go. So the old stuff. I'm not sure if that's new or if that's old because the previous owner did say they replaced the turbos. This does look kind of old. It's not as wet, but we'll take a health check in a little while after, say, 100 miles or so of running on the the new uh, <laughs> noisemaker delete pipe there. Just the rest of it looked like it too. I don't know how well that shows up. A little slick. But let's throw the new stuff on now. Right, we got the hose on on the bottom. Let's get this one going on the top. I should probably put the clamp first. Hmm. I wonder if this did have a bunch of bolt-ons before we bought it. This was loose. Oh, less stuff for me to do, right? All right, let's throw the intake back on, throw the turbo intake back on, turn it on, let's see if we got any vacuum leaks. Probably give it a wipe down too. All right, where'd I put it? Right here. Nothing but fighting with this little intake tube. Ridiculous. But that'll be going soon, so enjoy your space now. Do that should do it. Let's turn her on, warm her up, and see if we get some new, new sounds.
All right, so we definitely got a lot more uh, turbo noises. Cause uh, blow off valve didn't uh, open up that early. So I like it. It's now boosting as early as 2000, 2000 RPM. It sounds great. I didn't do it on sport mode, but we got a couple other things we're gonna try with sport mode. Cause I have a bunch of other parts for the mini sitting on the shelf. I am pretty impatient, but I wanted to wait so we can kind of do things in like stages and see what changed what when we did it and the effect it has in the car. So we'll probably get some driving clips later. It is kind of late, Christy's sick. So it's gonna call it a night, put the car away for now and we'll catch you when we go on some driving. I'm gonna go do some driving, excuse me. So we drove the Mini around for a little bit after doing the noisemaker delete and the throttle response is definitely better. It's just kind of hard to show throttle response in the video. But back home here with my two favorite ugly cars I own. Eventually we'll be getting to the Prelude soon, which I really want to put it back together and get it running again. It's been two years since we did the K-Swap and it was running and then parted out and bought the S2000. So, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and if you can, donate to the Australian Wildlife Relief Funds. Thank you.